Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shoot at the same 160 yard target and this time instead of using the turret to adjust for the uh, 17 minutes of angle of trajectory compensation I need to get to that distance with a 50 yard zero. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, reticle itself to compensate for that for that for these next couple shots. Um, if you remember correctly uh, from the first one the dope sheet said that I needed 17 minute of angle of trajectory compensation using uh, the this federal bulk stuff that I'm shooting which is in um, which I've calculated a, a generic dope sheet of about 17 inch per 100 yards 17 minutes to get to 160 yards so that means what I need to do is I need to take 17 and divide that by 14 that means I need about 1.2 plex post tip units to get um, my zero at 160 yards so if we can look through this thing real quick one more time let's see what I've got here that means I'm gonna have to aim 1.2 units plex post tip units down about at that area right there if you can see that see if we can get that in a little closer it's about as good as I can get which isn't too good but anyway let's go ahead and shoot it see how well we can do it Got quite a bit of wind right now, so we're gonna have to do some compensating, that's for sure. As best we can. Looks like it's coming from about seven o'clock at about ten miles an hour, maybe six o'clock, so favor a little bit left. Okay, here we go. 1.2 flex post tip units. tell if I'm hitting or not. I don't have a spotter and just going to have to go off the video. Okay, that's good enough for now. Put it on safety. Looks like I may have made a couple of connections, so we'll take a look at this, review this video later and see how well I did. But uh, this is the kind of stuff that you can play with at long range using your, your reticles and your turrets, even in uh, standard, uh, standard optics, and it's just amazing what can be accomplished with them. That's about it. Thanks. Bye.